What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Today, I'm coming at y'all with another upcoming hat releases video. It's Friday, y'all know the vibes. We're gonna get into some upcoming hat releases from a couple of different stores. One thing I do wanna know is that if you notice, today's releases, there's not that many of them, and that's because a lot of the releases that I talked about on Tuesday were actually for this weekend. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. If you've seen it, you might wanna watch it again so that you don't miss any of the releases that are upcoming this weekend. And at that side of the way, the first release that we're gonna get into is Captain Nova USA. Now, I already talked about this Editor's Choice Part 2 drop that they're doing. I said that it was dope. But one thing I did not notice in that first photo that was up when I initially talked about the release, it was only this photo right here. I did not notice that these were corduroy brims. I, I really didn't. I just saw that the hats was fire. The colorways got me. I didn't notice that they were corduroy brims and y'all know how I feel about corduroy brims, corduroy hats. I don't really have anything against it, but I haven't tried it yet and I've been very hesitant to try it. This might actually be the first corduroy brim hat that I go for. And we'll see how it goes from there because these are clean, corduroy or not. I thought that they were just black top bills. The colorways are super nice. Like that Detroit Tigers and the Atlanta Braves is just calling my name. It's calling my name. They did go ahead and post some more shots of the hat. So while we're here, we'll take a look at that. A lot of them are featured in this video right here. The stomper is crazy too. The stomper is crazy too. All of the hats look really good. So yeah, that is Cavanova, Editor's Choice. And once again, that's gonna be Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern in-store, 1 p.m. Eastern online. Now we're gonna move on to New Era because there's two new drops on the site. Well, since the last time I talked about them. So this is the NBA Teddy collection that we're looking at right now. First things first, I like that it has a gray UV and I like that it has a keychain. There's a lot of other hat stores that are including freebies. You know, you get a pin with your hat, you pin with your order, whatever the case may be. And it's about time that New Era caught up with that. They need to be including something for free so that they can kind of be on par with the other hat stores. And this time around, seems like they're including a keychain, which I think is dope. And I like the fact that they have gray UVs because the hats are busy. And that's what we're about to get into. So you can see on the side of this Rockets hat, it says Houston. There's a bear holding a ball. There's also something behind the Houston that I can't really make out. It looks like yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. And then there's some stars on the side of the hat as well as the front of the hat. It's a little busy for my taste when I take into consideration that NBA hats already have very dynamic front logos. So adding anything extra to the hat, it's kind of pushing it, just in my opinion. That being said, there's a lot of customizers doing this type of thing right now where they'll paint on the hats, they'll stitch extra things on the hats. And a lot of that stuff, depending on what it is and where it's stitched, can look pretty cool. I think they have a good idea. It just needs some tweaking, that's all. I also don't understand why it's a bear. Like, what is the significance of the bear? Did they just wanna do a teddy bear themed collection? Like, what is the significance of putting a bear on every hat? Now we're gonna move on to the MLB fruit. Now this idea, fire. The execution, I'm still not 100% on board because again, I don't get the fruit aspect. Like, yeah, each state, has like fruit that they're known for, you know, Florida oranges, New York, Big Apple, I get it. But putting fruit on the side of a hat that big, I don't know, it just don't, it don't hit for me. It doesn't hit for me, but I like the way that they're on here. It kind of looks like it's hand painted, probably not hand painted because these are mass produced hats but it looks like it, it's hand painted and I like the way that they did that. So if they did that kind of, you know, print on the hat, what is it? It is embroidered? So it's actually embroidered. It's just the shadows, I guess, that are giving me that kind of painted vibe, which it's cool. Like I said, this is nothing that customizers haven't been doing already for like the past two or three years, but it's interesting that New Era is doing it now. And I think that if they could just get another idea, another theme outside of this obsession with fruit that they seem to have, I think it would be dope. People are paying the big bucks, 150 plus for those Lord Fubu hats and the other customizers that have started to do the same thing. Lord Fubu just comes to mind because I'm following him on Instagram and I've been trying to get a hat, but they sell out dumb fast. So if somebody likes it, 
Let's go ahead and move on to Fam Cap Store. Now, Fam Cap Store is not dropping anything new, in my opinion. It's something that we've seen before. They're dropping uh, traditional colored hats, but they have blue and red paisley UVs. So in that first clip, you saw you have a Dodgers and you have Angels, red UV, red paisley UV, blue paisley UV. Uh, they're interesting. I feel like there's a lot of things on the West Coast that you could take inspiration from. And they kind of, I guess, are going with the whole gangland vibe with the bandanas around the pins. I don't know. Somebody's gonna love it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this one down below in the comment section. Now we're gonna get into all the right fitted Friday. Now it's called Fitted Friday because the hats do release in store on Friday, but the online release is Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. This is a Virgil Abloh inspired collection. So the hats match up with different Virgil Abloh sneakers. I can recognize, I can recognize basically all of them, uh, but the two hats, you know, just leaving the sneakers out of it. The two hats that stand out to me are the Chicago Script and the yellow scruffy bear face cubs. Those two would be my picks if I went for anything out of this collection. The other ones, actually, I kind of like that blue one now that I'm really looking at it. This uh, like light blue Cubs, that silver in there, I think is pretty nice. And the silver in the side patch as well. It works well with the red, gray UV. That one is clean too. Okay, I'm making adjustments now. The Cubs, this sky blue Cubs, the yellow Cubs, and that Chicago script joint are cold. The other ones are a little bit too busy for me. Crown Legends is doing a minor league baseball drop. So this is gonna be Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern in store and 4 p.m. Eastern online. Make sure y'all set an alarm because that 4 p.m. be messing me up. I'm always taking a nap during the Crown Legends drops. I don't know what it is. Uh, this is Game Boy inspired. So it's the Game Boy pack. I have to say the Minneapolis Miller, is that what it's called? Yeah, Minneapolis Miller's, the Mega Man joint. I see the vibes. I used to play Mega Man with my cousins a lot, and I do think that hat is pretty clean. You have the blue on the crown, blue on the top bill, orange and yellow accents, orange UV. Yeah, I see the vibes. It's definitely, you know, game inspired. The Tampa Tarpons or Tarpons, I'm not sure, is inspired by Tetris. Never really got into Tetris. And to be honest, this hat kind of falls flat for me. I think it's the gray on the crown and blue on the top bill that's messing me up because I like the combination of the blue top bill and that bright pink UV. I also really like the side patch. So I think it's really just the gray crown that's throwing me off. Then we have the Greenville Braves. I get the hat having the GB but that's just not a front logo that I love. So the only one that I would consider copping is that Minneapolis Millers, but to each his own. Y'all let me know if you're picking up anything from this Crown Legends drop. Before I get into the last drop, I did get something to my PO box. I wanted to share it with y'all. So we're gonna get into this letter that they wrote first. So it says, thanks for the support. I hit up a lot of fitted hat influencers and you were the first to get back to me. I love your video, so this is an honor for me. I hope to be a fitted hat influencer like you someday. I hope you like the pin at Simba the Dawn on Instagram. I'll go ahead and put their Instagram right over here in the corner. I just sit in my crib and I talk to a camera about hats. <laughs> you could do it too, just, just start. That's the first step. Let's go ahead and take a look at this pin. Y'all can definitely hit me up if you wanna send out a pin. I buy pins from the community all the time. But if you wanna send one, you could do that too. So y'all can see it has like a World Series vibe. It says Simba Series 2022. That's clean. When I put that on a hat, I'll post it to Instagram and I will tag you for sure. We're gonna jump right back into the last release. So this is Hat Club Super Bloom. If you haven't seen it already, I uploaded a video yesterday unboxing and reviewing some early hats that Hat Club sent to me. They sent me three, one of each colorway. So if you wanna see the colorways in more detail, up close and personal, go check out that video that I posted yesterday. I will link it at the end of this one. But now we are gonna take a look at these khaki hats with the wild mustard 
under visor. The ones that jump out to me as far as this colorway is gonna be the Astros, the Braves, and the Cincinnati Reds. I like the front logos and side patches on those. If you wanna see full like color details and stuff like that, check out the video that I posted yesterday, or you could go to hatclub.com and check out the details there. These hats do have extra embroidery, so you have the magenta and like yellow colored flowers on the khaki colorway. Now we're gonna move on to the next colorway, which is the navy and orange. The ones that jump out at me as far as the navy and orange colorway is gonna be the Stomper, the Expos, and the Washington Nationals. The patchwork on those three is crazy. I really like it. And I did say in that video, it's an unexpected combination to do such a dark navy with orange. Normally it's like, you know, Mets colors basically, which is like a royal blue and an orange. But doing such a dark navy and a bright orange, that's unexpected, but for some reason it works. As for the last colorway, which is the olive crowns with the icy V, my top picks would be the Astros that I'm wearing right now. This hat's clean. That olive and icy combination, like I really just can't get over it. So that would be one of them. Then I really like the Cubs, like that Cubs face, the orange Cubs face with the icy ring around it, fire. That is a good look. That's a great look. I also, for some reason, really like the Twins. That's not normally a team I look at or pay much attention to, but that Minnesota Twins is pretty nice. Once again, if you didn't watch Tuesday's video, go ahead and check that out because a lot of this weekend's releases were in Tuesday's video. Down below in the comment section, let me know if it is a spend your money or save your money week. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I will check y'all out in the next one.